Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Downtown Kedah Path Force. As promised, I'm going to go eat fish and chips in probably the greatest fish and chip shop in the world. There's its name up on the board and it really is waiting especially for you. If you want to dine in or you want to take away, I'll tell you what, since 2021, T&J's Fish and Chip Shop has taken Kedah Path Force by storm. Come with me and I'm going to allow you to feast your eyes and digest upon their spectacularity of the fish and chips indeed. I'm going to tonk on this and you won't believe what they sell here Lady Andrea. They sell the real thing, Coca-Cola. Look at that, sitting on a table especially for me. Do you want a quick look at the menu? Come on, let's have a look at it. There's the menu. If you want a medium-sized cod, and by the way, that's ginormous, it's 8.50. The extra large, to be honest, is enough to feed three or four people. Fish chips, 11 euros to 13 euros. They do things like calamari, yeah? Butterfly shrimps. If you just want some chips, you can have just a chip. Yeah, you can, and you can chuck a chip at Mr. Paul. They've got roast chicken and veg in a pie, vegetable pie, sausages, small ones and big ones. There's even a spectacality of a kid's corner. T and J's chip shop. Yes, indeed. And of course, for the guys, there is a beer or two. There's lots of extras, and of course, there's hot drinks and there's some cold drinks. So, come with Mr. Paul as he drinks a can of Coke and dines at T and J's fish and chips. And if you're wondering where it is, it's on the road that takes you from the hotels down to for the Yonder and the downtown Cape Hat was promenade and harbour area. We've got a bit of gridlock traffic here in front of the way. And that is the very, very start of Bar Street. And that is the keg and barrel. And just over yonder is where they're doing all the improvements in downtown Cape Hat Foss. And right across the road is the Almira Hotel. A lot of fancy people racing around. It's that funny time of night. A lot of people have finished work and a lot of people want to get home or perhaps just want to come to Team Days fish and chips to have a can of that, perhaps one of those, and perhaps some fish and chips. I'll see you in a bit. Oh my goodness, look at that. A little bit of tartar sauce, which of course is customary with fish and chips. Lemon, of course, because we are in downtown Paphos on the island of love, which of course is Cyprus. Look at those for chips, oh my god. You could chuck one of them at me, that's for sure. Absolutely beautiful. That is, believe it or not, the medium sized fish, and as you can see, it's pretty big. There's not many fish and chip shops that I've been to in the world that serve a bigger portion than that, and call it a medium size. And of course it's been topped off with a beautiful glass of the real thing, which is Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. Let's get a bit of salt onto those chips, and of course a little bit of that. Shall we? No, we won't do that. We've got a bit of lemon. we get a bit of lemon on it? Yeah, because that's customary in Cyprus, if you understand. So we get as much lemon, well that one's gone, then a runner, that's for sure. I'm now going to cut it up, and I'm going to put you on a tripod, because I'm going to allow you to watch me eat it, just to make you even more jealous. Have a look at that. Look. Now that's what you call fish and chips, quite simply to dine for. Lovely crispy batter. Because of that, how I like it. Some people might want it not quite so heavily battered. If you have a chat with the guys, they'll make sure they do the batter for you. And you can also have the gluten free option. Don't man knows that. If you pop in half an hour before you're due to wine and dine, shall we say, you can order gluten free batter and they'll make it special for you. Look at that fish, look how soft, look how beautiful it is. Mm. And you know, one of the things about this fish and chip shop is sometimes when you're out in Keda Pathos in a bar, 8.30, 9 o'clock, 9.30, you might come across these guys. You know it's them because they're still in their uniforms. And you might be pondering, well, why are they there at 8.30, 9 o'clock? Because they've sold out. They order 200 fresh fish every day, and when they're gone, they're gone simple as that. They like to make it fresh, fresh, fresh. They cut the chips themselves, they prepare them and they fry them to order. They fill up the fish themselves, they do the batter themselves and when it's gone, it's gone. So come on, let's have a look at it for a bit more and let you feast your eyes and digest. If you're looking for traditional 
British Fish and Chips, I'll tell you what. If you're in downtown Kedipakos, T&J's Fish and Chips, it's the shop that's waiting for you. You can dine inside, you can dine outside on the roadside, or you can have it as a takeaway and perhaps take it back to your apartment or to your hotel room. Why not? So check it out with the management first, otherwise it might smell a little bit fish and chippy, shall we say. Anyway, let's have a little dip in there and see what that tastes like. I remember talking to them a while ago because they actually buy in the sauces and then they tamper with them and add extra ingredients and there's no doubt about it that tartar sauce has got something yeah. don't take my word for it come down to TJ's Fish and Chips and make sure that you order fish and chips or perhaps if you name Lady Andrew you might want to come here and get yourself a sausage or two Make sure it's battered, not too battered, but make sure it's battered. But of course, don't pop any vinegar on it, because if you do, it's going to make it all go limp, isn't it? Let's have a little bit of vinegar. Let's have a little bit of vinegar. Let's have a little bit of vinegar. Because if you're from the UK, obviously, fish and chip shops are all over the world, aren't they? But in the UK, people do like to have salt and vinegar on their fish and chips. And like I said, Lots of people like their batter done in different ways. They like it softer, harder, lightly battered, or very, very heavily battered. I like it quite crispy, and I tell you what, this is absolutely to die for. Look at that. Oh yeah. Wine and dine with Mr. Paul at TJ's Fish and Chips. Yeah. That is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, really, really mm. Now, if you do like what you see, hit the like, click that, subscribe. Please don't forget to keep on coming back for that little bit more of my madness if you'd like to watch a man talk with his mouth full. I could be that man for you. Mm. I don't think it can get much better. You know, I've lived in Cyprus for 16 years now. I don't miss much about the UK. I miss the weather, obviously. Sweet candy. But there's one thing that an Englishman always misses, or a Welshman in my case, and that is fish and chips. Throughout Paphos, I've been to various fish and chip shops. And I'm not saying they're bad, that's not what I'm saying. But there's something special about a Mancunian cooking your fish and chip shop in downtown here at Paphos. So if you're in Patfoss and you fancy a treat, get yourself to T&J's Fish and Chips. You can find them on the internet or you can walk past. They open around about 2 o'clock on a Sunday, as tradition goes. Like most fish and chip shops in the UK, they are closed. But, mm, that is, it really is a delight. And I know I'm eating on my hands because obviously I am eating and holding the camera at the same time. And I'm taking you on a live experience. Mm. Well, as Mr. Paul eats his fish and chips. If you're looking forward to me, you never know, you might find me in a restaurant up and down the downtown Kedapakos promenade and harbour area. But more often than not, you're going to find me in the Pelican restaurant. And more often than not, sitting right next to me is going to be the most beautiful woman in the world. And of course, her name is Miss Archie. I see the out of the booth. I know she's watching. You know, honey, I'm missing me like crazy. Although, am I? I'm eating fish and chips in T&J's. And it is a spectacality of a meal indeed. Feast your eyes and digest. Don't forget, smash that like, click that, subscribe, and keep on coming back for that little bit more of my complete and utter madness. As I take you on my travels and show you where I go to eat when Miss Archie and Priscilla Booth is not in Cyprus. No, nope, she's gone to see a mum in downtown Georgia, Tbilisi to be precise, the capital city of Georgia. That's where the most beautiful woman in the world is from. So, Let's continue with eating this medium-sized boy, which most people would call a big boy, at T&J's Fish and Chips. Wow, absolutely delicious.
And there's only one thing you can have with fish and chips, and that's that, Coca-Cola. And simply is worth that. Mm. Yep, best fish and chip shop in the world, best fish and chips in the world, topped off by a can of Coke, sitting with a man dressed head to toe in blue. There's a lot of blue in this restaurant, by the way. It's leaned on blue. The tablecloths are blue. The seats are blue. All the decor is blue. The napkins are blue. The glasses are blue. All that's missing is blue. So get yourself a big bird. Or a canoe, start paddling like crazy. Pat or Cypress, Marika and me. Oh yeah. We're waiting, especially for you. Mm. Very, very nice indeed. The restaurant is starting to get busy, by the way. There's quite a few people in here now. Early evening time service is starting to take effect. There's no doubt about that. So, if you don't want to be disappointed, and I mean it, I'm not lying, get yourself here early or book yourself a table when they first open, because you're going to be disappointed if you come here. someone like Mr. Paul is eating your fish and your chips. Oh my goodness. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Let's get some more tartar sauce. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's nice. Like I said, their menu is quite diverse by the way. For a fish and chip shop, there's chicken nuggets, there's and Marley, yeah, yeah, that's how you say it, I don't know, there's lots of strange things on the menu. <laughs> but most people will come and sample the delights of the fish and chips, because they really are. That's all I can say, it really is. Get off me that tissue. This tissue wants to stick itself to me because of course it understands I am the man dressed head to toe in blue. Right, let's keep going. Let's find another ship. There we go, dipped in that rather nice archer sauce. Beautiful. Mm. And if you're wondering about the weather, well, what can I say? To be honest, I shouldn't be in a t-shirt. Because the weather today has been 38 degrees. Did you hear me? Yeah. If you're looking for a weekend, a week, a fortnight, or even the rest of your life, get yourself on that internet, get yourself booked a holiday to downtown Patros. Wow, that is nice. Mm. From fish eyes and digested. Spectacality of a fish and chip shop. Mm. You know what's weird? When you're sitting in a fish and chip shop and it's starting to get quite busy, and you're eating with your hands, they think you're uncouth. Then they realise in your other hand you've got this strange contraction and they're wondering what the hell is going on. Anyway, hopefully you guys like the content. Hopefully you'll keep coming back to the little channel known as Marika and Me. Mm. Yep. No doubt about it, greatest fish and chips in the world, as I keep telling you. And I'm going to get a bill, by the way, and I'm going to pay it. It's not a free promotion or anything like that. So, everyone I know who's been here has told me it was a spectacality of a meal indeed. Here we are, two days fish and chips on a spectacular of an evening indeed in downtown Kedapakos. All that's missing is you. Thanks for watching and I will look forward to seeing you again very, very soon indeed. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Mm. 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 Oh my goodness. Mm. 
hopefully you'll join me on my travels again very very soon indeed the amas as they would say in downtown Paris. thanks for watching don't forget to go and hunt us down on the buy me coffee platform that's how you could gift us that virtual coffee or two as a thank you as a gesture of goodwill and of course you can also join us as a superstar member on the buying a coffee platform starting off at only 10 euros a month that's all it costs to get yourself that little bit closer to Marie Krumi to get yourself a special title and one of these days you may be sitting here with Mr Paul eating fish and chips and I'll be paying the bill Name Sir Marcus. Get yourself down the local chippy. See if you can outdo me. Thanks for watching, and I will look forward to seeing you again very, very soon, indeed. T and J's Fish and Chip Shop, downtown Kenneth Pathos, could be the greatest fish and chip shop in the world. Don't just say my word for it, because they won awards for it. There you go, have a look at that. Please your eyes and digest the pom of those. They've won awards as the finalists. They won gold in 23 and gold again as the greatest takeaway in downtown Kedah Pathos. There's the guys in the back, they're cooking. And they're cooking live, by the way, straight in front of you. So there's nothing hidden, it's all fresh. There's one of the girls in charge of the show. And there's one of the bosses. Have you had a busy day so far? Did all right today, mate. When do you reckon you're gonna sell out tonight? About 8 o'clock. About 8 o'clock. You <laughs> might see your lofties bar. You, <laughs> you might know. do. You, you know might do. So remember, like I told you, everything's fresh. And they only buy enough stock for they believe the day. When it's gone, it's gone. It's as simple as that. And of course, there's Draft Heineken, there's Strongbow, there's John Smith's, and there's a fully stock bar. And it's waiting especially for you. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take you upstairs to show you the toilets because often us British people judge an establishment by its toilets, don't we? So let's go have a quick look and I think you're going to be amazed you are. The steps are nice. It's always spotlessly clean, by the way. And if you want a romantic meal, yeah, you can have one in this restaurant because there is a table upstairs, you see, and you can feast your eyes and digest upon all of the other diners in the lower level, see? One or two people are down there and they're having a spectacality of a meal indeed. So, let's go and quick look, here we go. Let's get to the toilet, shall we? There's Mr. Paul with his rig. This is the gentleman's toilet. It's all gonna light up in a minute, I think, because it's on special lights. I think they haven't switched the lights on for me, but anyway, it's all spotlessly clean. Look at that. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? No, it doesn't. And of course, the little girl's room is just over here. Let's just check. I did make sure there was no one in, by the way. It's absolutely spotless. Wow, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, as I say, we judge a lot on the toilets. The outside is spotless, the inside is spotless, the toilets are spotless. You've seen the staff. That's the man cooking your dinner. To be honest, he's spotless as well. So, don't forget, if you do like what you see, hit the like, click that, subscribe. Please don't forget to keep on coming back for my members. If it's somewhere you're likely to go, you drop in those comments, and guess what? That video may be coming very, very soon indeed. See, that's the back of house, and they are working like crazy to make sure that you get a spectacality of a meal in there. Let's go and show you the sign up in the lights, and tell you again exactly where it is. Downtown Keda Pathos, just at the very, very start of Bar Street, just as you come past the Almira Hotel, just down from the Anemi Hotel and next door to the Kegenbau and the Memories Bar. There's no doubt about it, it could be the greatest fish and chip shop in the world. It certainly is in downtown Kedo Pathos. Thanks for watching and I will look forward to seeing you again very, very soon indeed somewhere in and around downtown Kedo Pathos.